Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation. 6 to the power x minus 1 is equal to square root of 1 minus 6 to the power x whole cubed. Our job is to find all possible values of x such that x is a real number. So let's start. By using this property of exponents, a to the power m minus n is equal to a to the power m divided by a to the power n. This will become 6 to the power x divided by 6 is equal to square root of 1 minus 6 to the power x whole cubed. Now from here we take square of both sides. At left hand side we take square. So this will become 6 to the power x whole squared divided by 6 squared is equal to this uh, square will be considered with the square root and uh, at right hand side we are left with 1 minus 6 to the power x whole cubed. Now this uh, 6 squared is uh, 36. So this implies that uh, 6 to the power x whole squared divided by this expression 1 minus 6 to the power x whole cubed is equal to 36. Now we suppose that 6 to the power x is equal to t. So this equation will become t squared divided by 1 minus t whole cubed is equal to 36 and now we suppose that uh, let uh, t is equal to 1 over a so this will become 1 over a squared divided by 1 minus 1 over a whole cubed is equal to 36 next 1 over a squared divided by we can write the denominator of this one 1 and we take LCM of 1 and A. LCM of 1 and A is A and A divided by 1 is A, A times this one A minus A divided by A 1, 1 times this one 1 whole cube is equal to 36. Next 1 over A squared divided by this will become a minus 1 whole cubed divided by a cubed is equal to 36. Now we change this division sign into multiplication. So this will become 1 over a squared multiply by a cubed divided by a minus 1 whole cubed is equal to 36 and this uh, a squared will be cancelled out with the cube and we are left with a divided by a minus 1 whole cubed is equal to 36. Now in the numerator we subtract and add 1. And we take this a minus 1 as a single term. So this can be written as a minus 1 divided by a minus 1 whole cubed plus 1 over a minus 1 whole cubed is equal to 36. This a minus 1 will be cancelled out and here left 1 and this uh, cube will become square. This will become 1 over a minus 1 whole squared plus uh, 1 over a minus 1 whole cube is equal to 36. And we suppose that uh, let 1 over a minus 1 is equal to y. So this will become y squared plus uh, y cubed 
is equal to 36. Move this 36 to the left hand side, this will become y cubed plus y squared minus 36 is equal to 0. Next, y cubed plus y squared minus this 36 is same as 27 minus 9 is equal to 0. Next, y cubed plus y squared minus this is 27 is same as 3 cubed minus this 9 is same as 3 squared is equal to 0. Now we group these two terms y cubed and negative 3 cubed and we group these two terms y squared minus 3 squared. So this will become y cubed minus 3 cubed and we use parentheses to make this a group plus the second group is y squared minus 3 squared is equal to 0. For this we use the sum of cubes identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This will become y minus 3 times y squared plus 3 times y plus 3 squared or 9 plus for difference of two squares, we use this identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This will become y plus 3 times y minus 3 is equal to 0. And this y minus 3 is a common factor. So we factor out this y minus 3. And in bracket left, y squared plus 3 times y plus 9 plus y plus 3 is equal to 0. Next, y minus 3 times y squared. This 3y plus y will become plus 4 times y. Plus 9 plus 3 will become 12 is equal to 0. From here, either this expression y minus 3 is equal to 0 or this expression y squared plus 4 times y plus 12 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of y is equal to 3. And from this quadratic equation we see the delta discriminant is less than 0 or greater than 0. This is equal to b squared minus 4ac. This will be equal to 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times 12 and this will be equal to 16 minus 48 this is equal to negative 32 so the delta is less than 0 so no real solutions can be found from this equation so we have this value of y3 now recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 1 over a minus 1 is equal to y. We have supposed that 1 over a minus 1 is equal to y. So y is 3, this will become 1 over a minus 1 is equal to 3. If we take reciprocal on both sides, this implies that a minus 1 is equal to 1 over 3. This implies that a is equal to 1 over 3 plus 1. Next, a is equal to 1 over 3 plus 1 will become 4 over 3. And if you take a reciprocal on both sides, this implies that 1 over a is equal to 3 over 4. Now, recall that we have supposed We have supposed that uh, t is equal to 1 over a and 6 to the power x is equal to t. We have supposed that uh, 6 to the power x is equal to 
t and uh, t is equal to 1 over a since uh, 1 over a is equal to 3 over 4 so this will become 6 to the power x is equal to 3 over 4 to find the value of x we take log of both sides log of 6 to the power x is equal to log of 3 over 4 by using this log property log of a to the power m is equal to m times log of a this will become x times log of 6 is equal to log of 3 over 4 if we divide both sides by log of 6 this implies that x is equal to log of 3 over 4 divided by log of 6 and by using this property of logarithms log of a divided by log of b is equal to log base b of a this will become x is equal to log base 6 of 3 over 4 this is the final value of x this is the final answer of this equation